Oh god. What the fuck did you send me, Yuko? <laughs> what the fuck is this? The Unholy World of Jesus games? Catacurus? I'm guessing that's how that name is pronounced. I don't know. I'm shit at names. <laughs> Just trying to tell me the good word? No. <laughs> oh god, no. Okay, I ha I honestly have no idea what this is about. I've never heard of Catacurus, so this will be the first video I'll watch of theirs. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just dive right into this. Jesus games. Oh my god. Here we fucking go. <laughs> I'm not doing a Christmas video this year, but... What the fuck? Hello. Hi. I'm JC. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas time, the best time of year, named after my dad. It's Jeepus. God Christmas. And you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> what can be said about Jesus? We all know the story. 2,000 years ago, a man had a beard. Some people loved it, so they banded together to form Organization 13. And some people didn't, so they killed him and he T-posed. Yep. His name yep. backwards Tail is sausage, all this time. as you can probably imagine, with a fan base as loyal as Jesus's, it was inevitable that at some point there'd be tons of video games based off of his stories from the Holy Bibble. And there are a lot of them. Oh Trust God. me, there are a lot of them. There, there are too many of them. It's, I'm not even kidding, I have too many of them. There are so many Bible games, and why do I have so many of them? That's because Jesus Christ is my- no! I've even talked about one of them nearly eight years ago on this very channel called The Zoo Race. The fuck? Even though you probably can't tell, it's a racing game about Noah's Ark. Except in this version of the story, Noah tries to bomb all of the animals with explosive barrels and the losers get left behind in the Great Flood. Move out of the way, sheep! I'm getting on that Ark! Everyone run <laughs> south! And you, Ruben, you're a rhinoceros! The video I did about that single game was 25 minutes long with an 8 minute filmed intro. You know, the Dark Ages. And that's extra the embarrassing dark because ages. you don't need that much time to talk about it. You can There's sum a it up entirely for with a digital this. Bible game. I'm sick of all your shit. But the thing is, games like that. No, it's a right past it. The Bible game on PS2 are a bit too nebulous for me today. They're about the whole Bible, and today I wanted to specifically look at games that were only about Jesus. Starring Jesus, controlling Jesus, loving Jesus. <laughs> and this also means I'm not going to be looking at dance praise, praise champion, or guitar praise, because they're all basically the what? same thing, and they all oh play like... Oh my god! <laughs> No. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Oh no, it's that guy, the sensitive one that gets really upset about everything. What's his name? Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 don't worry, he doesn't mind. He's dead! <laughs> You've been gone for 2,000 years, where have you been? <laughs> oh, can you get your phone and give him a call then? <laughs> can you add him on WhatsApp? <laughs> well, I don't want him there, can you get him out? <laughs> oh, Jesus Heart Surgery! The first game Jesus we have today is called surgery, Run, Jesus, no. Run! The feds are after you! Well, let's see what this is all about then. Oh my god. The pixels. No. <laughs> no. So yeah, that was fun. As it turns out, Run Jesus Run is also known as the 10 second gospel, and that's because the game does indeed last for 10 seconds, just like me. And no, I don't mean it lasts that long if you game over. Even if you beat the game, it only lasts 10 seconds. It's very true to his real life. You run left and right while hitting spacebar on each screen to, as the game says, do Jesus things. You save the sick, do you walk on water, Jesus you jump over things. a hole. My favorite Jesus thing. And if you do enough of those things at the correct time, you beat the game with all of your apostles. Yay! 
So what have we learned today, boys and girls? The lesson here is don't bother. You'll end up dead anyway. At least the length of the game is just enough time to make you think if it should be read as run, Jesus, run, or run, Jesus, run! <laughs> but we can't just leave him there with his friends Mufasa and plus sign. Especially with his schlong hanging out. They didn't even take the ring off. So you know what we have to do? Wow, we have to no. save Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Save Jesus! Save Jesus! It's a game on Steam! Oh, thank you for Steam the follow! Steam's the first thing the launch page <laughs> told me was, This game doesn't look like other things you've played in the past. Oh, As such, we don't have much information on whether or not you might be interested in it. I can't wait! How do you like your Jesus? Good or simple? I quite like my Jesus to be on the fastest setting. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's time to save yes. Jesus. The story here is that Jesus has spent so much time saving you that now he's got stuck and needs you to return the favor. Well, you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, then you... Then you... Then... <laughs> Level one. <laughs> Click to get rid of the, the sandbox. Fuck? Okay, simple enough. Ah. <sighs> murder a Roman centurion by dropping a bundled collection of human skulls on his head. What the f- That was Jeez. metal as shit. And yep, that's basically what you do here. You click on blocks to make a boulder roll on top of Romans and then go, yeah! whether you use a sack of skeletons, a spiked cannonball, or a rolling obese cow. You just need to click on blocks and hope the physics kill all of the Romans. Being extra careful to stop the rock that is on fire heading straight for Jesus. And no, you can't hit Jesse. Otherwise, he heads off back to his dad's house for the weekend. My favorite thing in the game, though, are the explosives. God, they're so violent. They just launch everything right into the face of everyone, even Jesus. I haven't had this much fun since the last time I sang a hymn. Sadly, though, I'm getting bored, so I got to this old whiffly Johnny and stopped. Kill Jesus. Uh, okay. <laughs> something about those Romans. They'll gladly die for their Caesar. Yeah, I think I'm done. Sorry, everybody. I know I came back from heaven to check on all of you, but you all seem to be doing perfectly fine without me, so I'm gonna go. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Did you no. know that there is a fighting game on Steam where you get to play as Jesus Christ? <gasps> oh, sorry. I've actually... I think I just pooed myself. Hello. <laughs> I've actually heard of this game. I actually remember seeing something about it. Like, at first I thought it was like a... Uh a meme or something but then i realized no it's a legit thing and i'm like of course it is no no of course it is yeah i'm not even surprised oh my <laughs> this game looks fun though <laughs> this is fight of gods and even though the game isn't explicitly about jesus who cares you get to play as him beating the shit out of moses what more do you need fresh off the cross <laughs> and ready to pound down so what are the pros and cons of this game well the pros are uh, it's a fighter you can play as Jesus, you get to beat up Moses, and the cons are... There are no cons! Just look at how he arrives <laughs> into the arena. I'm back for the... Jesus doesn't need to try and get out of his prison. He takes the prison with him and kills you with it. And don't Jeez. worry, if fighting Moses is a little bit too racist Jesus for over you, here, you can always beat up Father Christmas. Aha! Take <laughs> that, you bearded nonce! This is for all the years you didn't get me the Hot Wheels garage set. In fact, you wouldn't even exist without me. Where do you think the name Christmas comes from? I am your daddy and you are my bitch! The only problem with Fight of Gods <laughs> for me, though, is that... I blow chunks. It's way too hard for me, and I can't tell if it's because the game isn't no, very good or I just can't Jesus play it right. Every special move I try happened by complete accident. Oh, yeah, Even when me. I changed oh, the God. difficulty me. down to very easy, I still got destroyed. This game nails you harder than me. Seriously, though, this oh. is far too hard for me. I just can't keep up with it. What do you think I am? A priest? If you don't stop kicking my ass, then I'm gonna... Stigmata all over the floor. I'm so sorry for <laughs> failing you, Jesus. Can you please forgive me? Right then, on to the next game. Oh, damn. I forgot to bring it with me. Well, I'm not getting it. I'll send a disciple. <laughs> uh -huh. Go to my flat. Yes, Jesus. I left a game in my bedroom. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Do you want anything from the shops? Yeah, get me a monster energy. <laughs> no! <laughs> Lazy Jesus. He needs a break from getting his ass kicked by Moses.
Jesus is an anime. Jesus. What am I getting <laughs> into with this game, man? <laughs> <bro? laughs> no. Okay, bye. And then, <laughs> uh, Jesus? What is going on here? Oh, look, it's my favorite biblical figure, Jesus Staff. Wait, so why is this game called Jesus? Who or what is Jesus? I'm completely Flabby lost. Floppy disk. Which is because this is a game for the MSX2, a disc. Japanese home computer system from the 80s that was famous for kickstarting Metal Gear, but is now more famous for having nothing in English. Like, come on, I can't even make a joke about what's going on. I get given a load of options, I click them to make something happen, then these squiggles turn into new squiggles, and then this lady's face goes from relatively normal to banana yellow with the hand of a crab. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't understand this moon language. Who even is Jesus? Is this flappy Jesus? Disc. Is this flappy, called flappy Jesus? Disc. Why is this game called Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, is that you? <laughs> There's a god somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Right, so oh, apparently boy. there is, in no. fact, an English fan <laughs> translation of the Famicom version of this game that you can play on an NES emulator. And at the very least, everything makes a little more sense until this thing pops up and kills everyone, at which point I don't know why Jesus' name is all over this game because he very clearly abandoned us. All right, fine, this <laughs> game was a stupid choice, but you can't blame me for looking at it. It was literally called Jesus. I had to give it a look, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> came back. <laughs> Like Jesus. So why don't we check out something that's more obviously about Jesus with his name in the title? Like, I don't know. Five loaves and two fishes! <laughs> you all know the story. One day, a man went to the corner shop to get groceries for 5,000 people, but they only had five loaves of bread and two fish. Oh no! Luckily though, Jesus was there, and he turned that small shopping bag into a feast. Only one time, though. Sorry, Ethiopia. You know what? With stories like this, people eating nothing but bread and fish, kids nowadays don't realize how lucky they have it. They've got all the food in the world, and they still complain it isn't good enough. Hey, I want my pudding. No, you haven't eaten your fingers yet. But, Mom. Here's another story for you. In order to play this game, I actually had to sign up to a Bible study forum and purchase a yearly subscription to access the download page. You're the welcome, Zealot. The scamming of it all. Is the scamming of it all. God has a great body. Now we need to pick a profile picture and <laughs> there are some fantastic ones here are some of my favorites yippee sunday school the famous religious figure r2d2 my superpowers <laughs> jesus <laughs> on a mug i love sunday school <laughs> Help. You know what? The one I ended up picking. You know though, what's even funnier about this? What's even more hilarious about this is that technically everything we've seen in this video so far, everything we've seen in this video so far, is technically, technically, a sin in the Bible. Like all these products and shit for for Jesus and Christianity and all that. Technically, it's a technically it's a sin. It's like I don't I don't know the specifics of it, but I just remember this one point being told to me about the Bible. It's technically a sin to like try to sell basically Jesus and and God in general, like making a profit off of it. Yeah, we all be sinners. We all be sin. L listen, um, unless you're it's a so newborn. Threatening. Who's You're the worm? Why is he you my done friend? Something. You done Where's something. God? What? <laughs> Who is the worm? I'm starting to think I donated money to a cult. So now I have pleased the almighty worm. Please don't kill me, worm. I have to fill out the rest of my details. First name, Span. Last name, Ish. City, Spain. State, <laughs> Churros. Yeah, I think we're done. And here we go. Wow. Five loaves and two fishes, which should probably just be fish. And the word five is written while the number two should be written as a word like the number five. But I'm not going to be that guy. Otherwise, I'll be accused of blasphemy. Five loaves, two fishes. Oh, Lord, don't you know what my wish is just to be with you. And all right, you go. My life. <laughs> I was weak, but you gave me strength to oh, see. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, it started again. Is that all we're getting? Is that the whole song? But where's my favorite bit? That's because Jesus Christ is my network engineer. Oh my God. God. Has he heard me calling to him? Is my faith being tested? Oh, joyous day. Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. 
could go for some fish. Hello, I'm Spod. Spot. Spot. Actually, I'm Spons. Of course. No. Raid Shadow Never heard of it. <laughs> Where have you been? Can I join you? It's the sponsor of today's video, and it's a giant role-playing game for your PC or mobile phone with over 600 champions to summon and fight with in the land of tele 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 te te television. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends with my QR code or link in the description. I'm not joking when I say that I've been playing Raid ever since the first time I got sponsored by them and I've never thought about deleting it once. It's incredibly addictive and the high production values are my favourite thing about it. Along with my personal favourite champion, I give all my best gear to Crimson Helm, uh, but she isn't as good as... <laughs> and of course, I must mention that I love the huge bosses. Speaking of, there's no better time to download Raid because of the newly added Hydra boss with six Raid heads. Shadow Legends Light, claims I don't do advertisement. That's all they've done ever since they became a thing. Poison you, steal your buffs, weaken your attacks, remove your healing. It's they've done ads and sponsorships and all that shit. They're everywhere. It's simple. He's in it. You want him? Well, then log in for seven days total before I've January been sponsored 28th. And this legendary champion is yours for free. That was like You're forever the fuck ago. It's really that simple. <laughs> and don't forget, it's a very special time of year, isn't it? Make Christmas spectacular and tell them they have B.O. Golly gee, <laughs> thanks, Grandma. And my present to you is Hi, my Phoenix. download link and my QR code for Grampy. Which will get you the epic hero Tayrell, 200,000 silver, an XP boost, an energy refill, and one ancient shard so you can summon yeah, an awesome work. champion How's the it going, you begin by the, the game. Way. All of which will be hiding in your inbox within the game right here. Plus, you don't even how's, need to worry how's about the your job auntie's of socks to buy something better the because it's job. totally free. Thanks again for the sponsor and... Bye. Let's start this thing up. <laughs> oh, hello, young man. Nice oh, yeah, we're we'll being here. super oh, yeah, religious right now. very nice hips. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Here. Wait, what's going on? Why can't I look up? Why am I stuck staring at his lump? It's all about that, there. Jesus. Well, it looks like you're steering us in the right direction. What are you this talking now, about? I just got here. This Wait, is now a Christian from? Where channel. Who is moving this boat? In fact, scratch that. Why isn't this boat moving? We're going slower than Mary Magdalene's libido. And bloody <laughs> pissing hell, man. These controls are so broken. All it takes is the slightest feathery tap of the keyboard and you go ape shit flying off in every direction imaginable. Wow. I know we've only just started playing this deeply spiritual journey but I think I'm already feeling the presence of Jesus. Oh wait, no, it's vomit. The boat the tells us we need okay, to head to the town nearby and convince my uncle to come life. with Hell us to yeah. see me. Hell so yeah, off Phoenix. we go. And no, we can't go any faster because going to see the son of God is not that exciting. Even if he did get dressed up for the occasion. Hey, call her. Welcome to my Christian Minecraft server. find my <laughs> uncle busy working in a well with his lovely collection of JPEGs. And he's not happy about us going off to see the G's. So now it's time to we argue with him. We drink the blood of Christ at midnight. So why do you want to go now back to the shore and listen to this Jesus teacher all day. And if you think for a second that these dialogue choices affect anything, you're a complete wrong man. Getting paid because to in stay every awake conversation, and watch Netflix. Hell yeah, these live that life, the Phoenix. One to get the game moving on. And if you live the, the dream. Response, guess what happens? The Messiah <laughs> here? <laughs> well, now I've heard everything. I know it's a long boat. Oh, for the love of my dad. What? You know what, though? He does bring up a very good point. Do you expect me to drop everything to go listen to a preacher from Nazareth? We all need bread. We do need to, you know, survive. So work is important, and I will stay to help you out. I mean, we'll get it done much faster if we work together, and then we can find Jesus quicker. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> so why are you telling me not to go then? Now, now, what the game wants me to do is tell him that the real-life food and water we need to keep us alive isn't as important as Jesus' morning breath. And you know what? That convinces him. Don't worry, kids. I'll get you some food. In the beginning. At this point, <laughs> Uncle Fester tells us to find some bread and fish in a nearby nice. house for the trip. <laughs> Only problem is, nothing here can be clicked on, or jumped on, or climbed on, or prayed on. We're stuck in perpetual misery that not even God could save us from. And I was stuck here for 15 <laughs> minutes before deciding to give up and make my way over to some more buildings over there. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> and I walked the whole way. And it took me. I wonder what the fuck he's actually drinking. 
two entire <laughs> minutes of nothing. And after all of that, I got there. Mm, and I can't split. even get in. Sorry, Jesus. I won't be there to hear your lecture. I guess I'll just have to go to hell. Thank you for playing <laughs> our game and learning this important Bible story. We hope this story helps you believe Jesus is the Messiah sent by God to save the world. Well, actually, all I learned is that if you want to stop a man from finding Jesus, put a two foot wall in the way. May you feel fed <laughs> by his presence and ready to serve him all your life. Yeah, that. Yeah, this is a cult. I don't know if I'm. I really need I don't to do know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment, you know. We have to go to the toilet. The toilet. <laughs> the fuck? This here is a Sinclair <laughs> ZX Spectrum, the UK's biggest home oh computer God, that for the was, It you almost know, killed back me. Back in the days when games for computers came on <laughs> cassette tapes. That one's Horace goes skiing. <laughs> Do half of you even know what a cassette tape is? Bands used to record albums on these things. <laughs> Let's listen to it! <laughs> and that was, um, a sp <laughs> Why? Now, the spectrum <laughs> may have been revolutionary for the time, but going back to it today isn't that fun at all. Take the game Manic Miner, so for instance. Really you boot it up, yeah, okay. and then after 3 minutes oh, and 13 oh, seconds of loading, it takes you to this. Oh yeah, the crap guide one. We literally, yeah, we finished that one a little bit ago. And believe it or not, there yeah. is a Jesus <laughs> I game on the spectrum, <laughs> Galilee, which is a place Jesus went to one time. And in that story, um, I think he wanted to go and see a concert, and he didn't have a ticket, so he tried to sneak in without anyone noticing. Like, <laughs> okay, well, the game isn't about Jesus. There we go. We need a Jesus stealth and Jesus game. Jesus isn't in it, but it does count because. This is a location, and Jesus can be anything, even a place. So we boot up the game, and this happens. Oh god, my fucking eyes. <laughs> when Jesus' blood isn't enough, you gotta, gotta wash it down with some holy water. You thought it loaded? <laughs> no! Because it takes a total of 4 minutes and 50 seconds to load, after which we finally get to wow. a title screen. Time to play Galilee, 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 uh, Galilee, the 80s. Galilee, Figaro, Magnifico, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We just, we just love, oh, we just took love five going minutes back to load text. What? Galilee is a text adventure. Yeah, no graphics, no music, just text. The real adventure is in Thank your you head. For the and that's the best thing about playing a video I game. You wake up why. with a throbbing <laughs> There is something very important to do, but you cannot remember what it is. What do you want to do now? Well, let's press enter and see. You are in the graveyard. In the distance, a field is ready for harvest. Obvious directions are north or west. Okay then, uh, go north. You are in the graveyard. You hear groaning and screaming. What do you do now? Join in! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh, hang on. A maniac jumps on you and hits you. Holy shit, but we only just started! What is this, John Wick? What do I do now? <laughs> um, <laughs> Not the Matrix photo from I John Wick. <laughs> okay, um, jump on him. Call him a cut. Right then, I don't know what to do. He's been jumping on us like a trampoline for at least a minute, and I can't get him off. So, what if I uh, hit him back? You hurt your hand. <laughs> the maniac says, <laughs> "I'll kill you again." Hang on, what? When did he kill me the first time? What do I do now? I, I don't know. Uh, ask him why. I do not see why here. I'll kill you again. All right, fine. Kill him. You do not have a weapon. The maniac leaves. Boy, this game's going a million miles an hour! Well, hey, <laughs> I'm not done with him yet. Chase maniac. I don't understand. 
A maniac jumps on you and hits you. God damn it! What kind of a place am I living in where I can't walk three feet without a maniac? Yeah, you gotta love these old text games. Just love them. Move house. Nothing like them, really. kill us again. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Steal weapon. Okay, I need to be smarter about this. We have to take another route. What would Jesus do? He's not real! Talk to Maniac. The Maniac says, I'll kill you again. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. I'm really running out of ideas now. Find weapons. You see the Maniac. Yep, I saw him a while ago. Okay, well, maybe he's just a bit glum. Take Maniac on a date. You can't get that! What, is the Maniac out of my league? You know what? Screw it. I'm not giving him the satisfaction. Kill myself. You do not have a weapon. You are in the graveyard. You hear the rattling of chains. Oh, that sounds sick. I'm going to record them for my mixtape. There's I not enough. Follow all that. Well, in that case, I really have There's not any enough ideas. Jesus juice, holy you water in the world to get to get him through this. <laughs> what? You know what? I don't want to go to Galilee anymore. Galilee sucks. I think I'm going to have my holiday somewhere else, like Suckley. Or maybe even really push the boat out and go to Licky End. But I haven't decided yet. I need to figure out which is closer once I reach Piddle Bypass! Okay, let's get back on track. Jesus games. Jesus games. Well, they seem to be all over Steam, don't they? So let's go back on Steam and see what we can find next. Like, Jesus Christ RPG. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Except running. <laughs> oh, Jeebus. What the fuck? This tastes like Fanny. We start off in a nice Why? little house where we keep water, fish, and eggs in treasure chests, and then waddle our way over to Mother Mary to let her know we're leaving to get our first Pokemon. Both I and your father, <laughs> I mean, Joseph, will miss you. Oof. Sneef. Sneef. We walk around the town, talk to people, and find out that we can't help the organ player get wrecked because I can't perform miracles yet without travelling to the desert to get baptised. Because even if you are the son of God, you're still useless until you get wet. We go to the oasis to get baptised and come out looking like a stupid baby. Hello, I'm Jesus Christ, I just shit my pants. As it turns out, <laughs> I learned exorcism. And all it took was me getting a little bit damp. Dude, I want that! <laughs> Lovely. Caddy. Caddy. Suddenly, Satan of all people appears, and he is looking fire. If this guy is supposed to be the root of all evil, why do I want to get a beer with him? He tries tempting us to jump off of a cliff to prove that we are as great as we say we are, and we reply, you are not to put the Lord your God to the test. Pussy. And because of that <laughs> cop-out, Satan sends Beelzebub after us with all of his minions. In brown trousers. Time for a battle then. Yeah! Demonic fly uses smelly finger. You know what? I don't what want to fight fuck? anymore. Which is good because in the game, I can always choose to refrain. I mean, after all. Run that away is from the smelly want. finger. And we get the greatest message I've ever read Jesus Christ was defeated. <laughs> Getting wet Sorry, does help Christians. Right you then, I guess we can't fix every problem with you peace, so it's time for Jesus to cut. Kill the demon, go to hell. Kill the demon, go to hell. Kill the Lord of the Flies, go to hell. And then <laughs> I stole his wallet. And the Bible lesson we learned today, kids, is that violence solves everything. Jesus Christ RPG is an RPG where you walk around an overworld, explore buildings, talk to people for Look advice and items, Christian buy weapons and armor, find cool, yeah. party members in the form of disciples, level up with experience points to learn new miracles, and attack Listen, everyone that I'm just waiting. With you. In turn -based battle. I'm just waiting for the Jesus game that pops out with Jesus, like with a fucking machine gun or something. I'm waiting for it. There's gotta be one out there. You know, there's gotta be one. <laughs> How tabled the turn. Sadly, though, you can't walk on water. You're not my Jesus. You can't progress throughout <laughs> the game without obtaining certain miracles, which you can use in combat as well as the overworld. But in order to get those miracles, you have to do a lot of fights to get a lot of XP. I don't remember that bit in the Bible where Jesus had to grind. The thing is, though, this game may be on Steam, but it's totally free to download, and it's a totally functional RPG. I've got no complaints about it, really. Finally, after all the bollocks I've seen so far, playing Jesus Christ RPG is just like when you're starving and you finally get your food at a restaurant. Yes, my favorite!
And to no! make things even better, this no! game is actually a trilogy. Yeah, three RPGs in one. Rise Jesus Christ RPG is Waiting more than the exact same, Steam so I won't Jesus say anything about Jesus. it. But what about Christian Baby Jesus the game? Christ RPG? I what could this one be even. like? We get some intro text talking about the angel Gabriel coming down to see Mary for a bit of the old in-out, in-out, and she's not very ah! happy about it. Greetings, favoured one. Not the in-out, in-out. <laughs> I also didn't get much sleep last night, so Gabriel tells Mary <laughs> that she'll be pregnant with the Son of God despite her being a virgin, and her face sums it all up. And then, as if by magic, Wait, with the tiniest tap of the space bar, she's knocked up in a single frame. <laughs> Sorry, can we see that again? <laughs> <laughs> Disappointingly, not much else happens after that, and it becomes more of the exact same again. Except yep. now you control a fat, blooming Mary as she violently shakes her pregnant stomach around. The main yep, problem with this, this is how pregnancy I went out of the works, town guys. to try and explore, when all of a sudden I was jumped by a desert thief, and Mary was surprised. So surprised, she died in one hit. Game over. And here's baby Jesus about <laughs> to be stabbed. Sitting in a big... Poo. Fine then, I'll stock up on some weapons before I leave. Hello there, poor starving child. I don't have any food, but did you know the only food you need is the word of Jesus Christ? I'll buy something off of you. Um, battle saw? Perfect. <laughs> I always what wanted the to fuck? equip the Virgin Mary with a battle saw. Oh look, it's Joseph. Come on then, cut. Time to go to Bethlehem <laughs> and give birth to our bastard child. Oh no, a tourist appeared and called us... <laughs> Hillbillies from Nazareth. I guess now we have no choice but to kill him with our battle sword. Wow, they had hillbillies Joseph back then. Party, Didn't know. Pre-equipped with a giant battle you learn hammer. After new every day. Face in, we look around all of the inns to stay for the night, and sadly, there's nowhere to go. I can see where this is going. Time for us to have a perfectly normal and natural birth in a cow pack. We find the right stable we need, <laughs> walk in the door, and then immediately there's Jesus. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> These this is how pregnancy of works, Orient guys. Are bearing gifts with garden gnomes. Okay, then time to move on to the next game I found. Fluffy and God's Amazing Christmas Adventure. I don't know if Jesus has anything to do with this game, but he did have a lot of hair, so Fluffy must be his nickname. <laughs> this is so fucking wild. Oh dear. Fluffy is not Jesus. Fluffy <laughs> is a sheep. I'm so sorry, Jesus. Can you please forgive me? <laughs> Alright, so this game Fluffy isn't about Jesus at all, which means it doesn't count. But the second that God appeared in the game and started talking... Hello. A little floof floof, Jesus. Oh, Fluffy the sheep. I couldn't bring myself to stop recording it. Well, my name is the Lord Almighty. You can just call me... God. You can call me Matthew McConaughey. So this is one of those <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the story of Jesus games with a few interactive elements along the way. But when I say a few, I really mean a few because most of this just goes on and 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 on. Hey, you know what I really wanted to do today? Become a prophet, and like all good prophets, I, I need God to rewrite my own version of Asylum Nine, X. my favorite movie in the series. But we can only edit what's already there a few words at a time. Name a thing that is super good. Even though that really wasn't a thing sex. back in Name the day, but whatever. Name a thing that is really bright. My asshole. Name a form of <laughs> strength or force that is really strong. The policeman. Two words that mean the same thing as smashed, wasted, and drunk. One word that describes what the whole world could use. YouTube.com forward slash category. Ah, nice. profession that helps Shameless. People. My dealer. A new, more Meh. exciting title for God. Uh, mister? Name a royal ah. title or government title given to a leader. Yas queen. A good adjective. <laughs> oh, sorry. And yes, good adjectives queen, such yes. as great man or loving mother. <laughs> Bulging. Perfect. Time to export. The prophet Fluffy said in the ninth chapter of her <laughs> book, there will be a time in the future no. when Galilee of the Gentiles will be filled with premarital <laughs> sex. The people who walk in darkness will see a great asshole that will shine on all who live in the land where death casts its shadow. For God will break the policeman that binds his people. In that day of peace, battle gear will be wasted and drunk. For a child is born to us. A YouTube.com forward slash is given to us. These will be his royal titles. Wonderful dealer, mighty mister, Yas Queen of Peace. He will rule Queen. forever yeah. with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor Perfect David. no notes. The bulging <laughs> commitment of the Lord Almighty will guarantee bulging this. Bulging commitment. <laughs>
bulging commitment. This? Well, then that settles it. The words of Fluffy will be set in stone forever. No. I was going to stop the game here, but then and I so discovered do that, that you can church. have the oh game God, read this yeah. back to you. And that I'd be so in the background better. encouraging, be time in the future holding the Galilee camera. Of the Gentiles will be filled with premarital sex to the people who walk in darkness will see a great asshole that will shine <laughs> on all who live in the land for a child is born to us. Game of the year. YouTube.com forward slash Kadika is given to us. Everlasting Game Father, of the year. Yas Queen of Peace. Yas Queen. The of the Lord Almighty will guarantee this. And then I was going to stop the game there. But then I found something else. Super Jesus. Time to fill in more text gaps and tell oh the world my God. what really super happened on Christmas Jesus. Day. Super Baby Jesus, the Super Messiah, was born in the John Legend's house. Real Baby <laughs> Jesus' greatest powers were his giant feet and tiny fingers. Super <laughs> Baby Jesus wins friends and conquers enemies by his exploding balls. The real Baby <laughs> Jesus will grow up to conquer people's hearts with his blaspheming. And then... <laughs> I was going to stop the game there. I really was. But then on the main menu, I noticed this little thing in the bottom corner. DJ Fluffy Jams. <laughs> DJ Fluffy Jams? No. Stop looking at me like that. And what is this, I hark thou wail? Well, it's a drag and drop songs of praise beat mixer set to some Christmas hymns. And you can change a few words around and add in your own background noises. Here's what I came up with. Merry Pitmas. <laughs> Merry what is this demonic monstrosity? <laughs> Dude. You know what? For a game that's about Jesus Dude. and where Christmas comes from, I didn't see Jesus a single time in this game. Where the hell was he? Sorry, mate. I think we forgot about you. Time to move on to the next game then. Fist of Jesus, a game that used to be on Steam and that was definitely a, back in 2015, a 50 use, but for suddenly six. being removed forever, meaning you can't actually buy it anymore unless you already owned it before it was taken down. Or you pirate it. Like I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to illegally download it! Please let me come home! I'm really sorry! <laughs> it's so cold outside! Please let me in, Dad! What's really sad though is that even after all Could the you imagine I someone like actually the opening the door? It, <laughs> I really don't have much to say about it. Maybe it's because I pirated the Android it's like version. someone just caretaking that area. Working, but this like, what is the one fuck? of the most basic beat em ups I've ever played. Buy something and get rid of the ads. <laughs> Buy it. It's not particularly good or bad or even actually that funny. The story we have here is that there isn't one. But that doesn't You played matter. this game? I'm smart. You go? I know mathematics. Okay, well, Lazarus has come back from the dead and is turning everyone oh, into zombies, yeah. and Jesus wants us to send him back to hell, otherwise, he'll get told off. But other than that, you. Uh, throw fish at the poor. The game is a beat em up. You beat em and you up em, charging around like a galloping yeah, sausage right into the enemy's back. Oh, it's incredibly gosh, straightforward yeah. shit. Yeah. Each level is a little arena. You it can does pick up give weapons, off that vibe. You have a few unlockable special moves, and you can either survive as long as you can or kill a certain number of zombies, chickens, or dirty, stinking lepers. I remember that bit in the Bible <laughs> when Jesus said to the sick. Do the world a favor and let me finish you off. You don't even control <laughs> Jesus for most of it, which is even more disappointing. Instead, you play as Judas. You know, the I mean, that's the basically song, the modern inter interpretation of it, really. Hey, Jude. Yes. I mean, if you like the idea of killing sheep with the stars of Bethlehem or pulling the hearts out of non-believers because that will make them join your religion, then by all means, illegally download the game and see for yourself. But it's just a bit too wishy-washy for me. There's not much going on here. And this Lazarus boss fight? Impossible. I swear to Jesus Christ, otherwise known as God Junior, that it isn't possible. Whenever you try to get behind him to attack during this phase of the fight where he's invincible from the front, he always gets multiple hits in or speeds off towards you before you can even get 
away safely, and you will die, 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 die. Oh, stop being oh, my such eyes. A... Oh, wait. I'm Jesus. I can't swear. I... Stop being such a... Twant. <laughs> and speaking of twants, here is Pathway to Jesus on the iPhone. Five incredible adventurers <laughs> what? entrusted what? with an airship what the fuck? that can take them anywhere in the world, powered by a special Bible that also opens pathways to the past. Yep, I'm gonna need some help with this one. Okay, we all learned a very valuable lesson today, and we're all better people for it. So yes, you heard that right. This is a video game where you pilot a time-traveling spaceship powered by a Bible that is searching for Jesus F. Christ. And on your mobile phone, no less. I always wanted to finish a phone call to my granddad's funeral director, and then hop on my Bible spaceship game. Suddenly, the ship crashes <laughs> because, oh, Who? I don't know, maybe because the controls have been left like a goddamn chimp. And we wake up in this very perfect, strange This place. is the perfect this game. The screen to move, for when you're taking a really and... long shit on the bowl. It's too hard. This is an extremely basic pushing puzzle game, and I mean extremely basic. This has solely been designed for the kiddie winks, so they can easily get their daily dose of the man in the bathrobe. To be fair though, it isn't awful. It looks fine enough, and it has decent production values. But what are we doing all of this for? I know where and when we are. This is <laughs> Bethlehem, <laughs> the night Jesus was born. Wait, how did we time travel to the birth of Jesus? It didn't happen! Though our airship crashed and our team <clears throat> separated, it appears that God has used this moment to show us something incredible. Yeah, you hear that, kids? If your spaceship crashes and you don't know if anybody is left alive, screw them, it doesn't matter. Because God made you crash so that you could see his snotty little son. And that's more important than finding your dying friends. The Spirit of God descended on him like a dove, and a voice from heaven spoke on him, saying, This oh, is my so son, good for now. Oh, that sucks. And that's why I'm going to see let you, him die Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Stick. Okay, I take it back. This game isn't that good at all. I'll it's see you later. Bit... Hurts. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Completely broken? Just check out this <laughs> AI here. I heard something. I heard something. Who's there? Who's there? Do you just not like gingers? Is that what this is? Oh, and you'd think <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't complain about the controls here when all you do is swipe the screen, but man, it is non-stop. You swipe for every single individual space you need to move. After a while, it kills your finger. It's just constant rubbing. I feel like Jesus is fluffer. Jesus was only 12 <laughs> when he was teaching in the temple. Wow, <laughs> kids really can do amazing things. Yeah, kids, I know you don't want to tidy your room or wash a plate, but feel free to teach Christianity in any don't even need to do your homework, it's fine! God can work any problem <laughs> for good. I have the hope that he will do just that in this situation. Sweet! He'll finish the game for me then. And I think he might actually have to because I can't go any further. I distract this guy with the only rock available, which means I have no more rocks to distract this fluffy, guy. Fluffy and I physically Jesus. can't continue. Hey! I'm what do I do? Jesus Where do I go? <laughs> Where do I go? Help me, squeezy jeezy. Wait a second, why squeezy am I playing this? I'm I can't. I can do whatever I want. I'm hungry. I want free food. Yes! <laughs> Hi, yeah, uh, I came back to save you from sin. I want a burger. Actually, no, scratch that. I want two. Hi, come on in, it's you. Come it's, on. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Someone gets it, finally. Thank you very much. Listen. Dying for a burger. Congratulations, it's a boy. Right. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, thank you. This is just this way. They think I'm Jesus, but I'm actually not. <laughs> okay, then go to the game. Actually, can I go to the kitchen instead? Uh, I need to bless it. Whoa, that smells great! You mind if I add my own thing? Vegans. Not <laughs> Miracles of Jesus for Windows 95. <laughs> if you want eternal salvation in heaven, 
All you need is 32 megabytes of RAM. And thus Jesus said unto his disciples, it is better to set the system color depth to 256. <laughs> yes. Oh. No. We boot the game up and I'm in love with the fact that Jesus' corpse is the mouse pointer. I, I love it. And let's begin our path to heaven with some puzzles. We love pointing with a dead body. <laughs> Shit, man, this music is banging. Where can I get the album? I didn't know Jesus grew up in the project. First off, there's this painting game, and I made my own masterpiece that I call Leprosy Babe. Then there's Spot Leprosy the Difference, babe. and if you get it wrong too many times, you, you burn in hell, I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. Then finally, there's these jigsaws to solve, where every finished piece makes a lovely noise that sounds like Satan's... <laughs> I've heard pap smears more pleasant than this. What I find interesting, though, <laughs> is that these are the only games on this disc, and they are all memory games. Remember what the right colors are for painting, remember what was different about the original picture, also that the kids playing can train their stupid idiot pea brains to remember as much holy scripture as possible. <laughs> no, pretty much, yeah. Hey, I know that yeah, sounds that's pretty cynical, much but none of the games <laughs> yeah. I played so far had an entire section dedicated to just reading prayers at you. <laughs> oh, a prayer before going to sleep in case we don't wake up. How sweet. I want to pray for those who have no shelter, that you protect them and keep them from harm. Well... I come to your oh, place and pray for the people who the are color. suffering from illness. You are the healer, Lord. Heal their wounds. Cure their illness. Oh, that's good. I guess you won't need hospitals then. Guide me, Lord, throughout this night. And in the days to come. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Bitch! Okay, time to head off to my favourite biblical game. There is a game on Steam. And let's check out some of the characters the of the Bible. Of course oh, there wow. is. God. I didn't know Pavarotti of course. was in it. And by the way, Joseph, you could really do with a haircut. And Spinning David, some hard reality. you could do with a new face. Hang on, where's Mary? <coughs> Why isn't she a main character in Jesus' life? <laughs> well, I guess she didn't do too much. She only birthed him. Right, fine then. Let's... Uh huh. Let's go and see what weapons is. Joy to the world! <laughs> I did come. Time to check out the <laughs> word of God now. Hmm. What does he say about wisdom? What is wisdom? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, then how about obedience? He who does not love God and does not keep his words is in for eternal damnation. So you're saying I need to be gay? And finally, we have yes. the story, the main event of this ancient holy artifact from Windows 95. And don't let the horrifying <laughs> Silent Hill rusted text put you off. This is simply a very basic retelling of the life of Jesus without any interactivity. And that's it. Play Miracles of Jesus right now. The game critics all over the world are saying... You can buy it if you want. Yeah, I thought this was going to be one <laughs> of those like, of Disney idea. storybook <laughs> games, but with added smiting. And no, it's just a boring narration telling you things that Jesus did, and apparently the narrator can't even read. But he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to the baptism. Oh boy, oh no, Jesus, stop it. No, to put that back on, what are you doing? No! Angels came. Okay, to be fair, there is this one <laughs> awesome bit where you do safe cracking with Jesus, but aside from that, I've got nothing to add. It doesn't even finish the story at the crucifixion. You know... The best bit just stops right here as he gets taken away after being caught kissing a man in a forest because it was illegal back then. Luckily, the voice acting oh, is no. easily my favorite thing. Not a little this smoochy woochy. With whom I am well pleased. <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? God's well pleased with his son, yeah. He's well good, isn't he? He's, he's a right proper lad. I'm God, I'm, he's, he's, I'm well pleased with my son. He's well pleased. I'm, 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 Go away! If you are the son of God, <laughs> command these stones to turn into bread. It is written in the scriptures that man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So what you're saying is you can't do it. If you are the son of God, cast the gay sexy Jesus. Down. <laughs> 
And please stop my tail from coming out of my stomach. At the end of it all, though, Miracles of Jesus does show off my personal favourite miracle he ever pulled off. The time when he found the fire exit. By the way, if <laughs> any of you out there are genuinely worried that I'll be damned to hell for all eternity for making this video, don't worry. I was christened, so I get a free pass. Next up, we have this special wow. little gem known as the U of Testament. Course. A game about Jesus made by a guy called M. Dickey, who is infamous around the internet for making the worst things. Yeah. The game starts off with a character <laughs> creator and... <laughs> I am not changing anything about him. Welcome to Planet Earth, <laughs> Sid Arthur. And here is what the cutscenes look like. Ten. I wish Dad was here to see this. Well, 10 out of 10, IGN. The game follows your journey to meet Jesus Christ and become besties with him. But first we need to get baptized, which ends up not happening because we're told we're a fool. And then, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look, the quality just got worse. Good. And then this woman appears claiming to be God. But we know that isn't possible because women can't do anything. And by the way, those cutscenes, yeah, I'm not doing anything to them. They just run like that at three frames a second. If my 3090 can't run this beast, we are beyond saving. I guess we're dealing with a bit of a tricky dicky. <laughs> So this fake god over here, she's so fake that as soon as she stops speaking, the entire village of bug-eyed freaks all rush at her to beat her to the ground. But I don't join in. I watch instead. Can I borrow some of your toilet roll? We run off somewhere else, and lo and behold, there he is! Mr. Christ himself! Yes, I know he looks like an alcoholic bricklayer, but trust me, it's definitely him. And at this point, all we have to do is follow him and watch stuff happen. Yeah, that's it. Map tells us where to go, we find him. Map tells us he's moved somewhere else, we find him. Map tells us he's moved somewhere else, we find him. This is as much fun as a dick, Veruca. And every time we find him, he gives us a new wisdom. A man cannot live by bread alone, only by the energy that makes it bread in the first place. What? Wheat. If anything, I just wish that more interesting <laughs> stuff happened here because Get some nothing of really wheaties. does. Aside from the time that I got fed up and decided to beat Jesus, at which point he said, touch me again and I'll kill you. Jesus loves me, this I know. <laughs> What's that, Father nice. of Christianity? Professor Peace? Mr. Goodwill Toward Men? You'll kill me, will you? Well, we'll see about that. Uh, to be fair, no, I suppose no. I was meant to be touched by Jesus and not the other way around. But come on, man, do you really think you can just kill whoever you want? <laughs> Something that I do actually like a little bit are the loading screens in between each area. They give you spiritual quotes about the life of Jesus from famous religious figures, including Mahatma Gandhi, the Prophet Muhammad, Pharrell Williams, Jay-Z, Bruce Lee, Oprah Winfrey, Jimi Hendrix, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Tupac, Kanye West, Eminem, Osama Bin Laden, and... What the fuck? Osama Bin Laden! Osama Bin Laden! Well, I suppose we what? did manage to find him and nobody's found Jesus yet, so... Oh no, his name popped what? up and he made everything go pink. Silly Bin Laden! By the way, on the character creation screen, you can make some absolute freaks wow. of nature. Let me tell you, like shit. Peter, the 33-year-old, one-foot-tall, fat and angry old man. I don't have a small wang, it's proportionally very big! And then there's Elijah, <laughs> the 11 foot tall, topless, bearded woman with a receding hairline. Now, I know there's a few of you out there that like getting stepped on, but is yeah, this I'm not too sure much? that's uh, or do you consider who you want to be quoting. Do you need to conquer Mount Everest. But hey, at least I know that if I want to get to heaven, all I've got to do is fly a plane into a building. And I'm not suggesting anything here, but Osama did run away and hide in a cave. And Jesus was resurrected and walked out of a cave. I'm not saying he's Jesus, but New Gang Time here is Secrets <laughs> of Jesus, and there Moving is Jesus on. telling us a secret. But keep it to yourself, because the policeman's after him. Hey, do you want to see the scariest thing of all time? <laughs> I love this artwork. It's the angriest hushing face I've ever seen. Shh. Why does Jesus look so intimidating? It's like I caught him in the church touching kids. He looks like a window. yes Here queen are some moment of the steam right there. achievements. Jesus gets assassinated. Jesus is ticklish and piss. And here we are the title screen, uh, the secrets of Jesus. Jesus piss. 
The game starts That's off in somebody's Italy, where kink. a lonely fisherman can't catch any fish, so then he starts whinging about having pizza again, and then starts complaining about his weight, and then, oh Jesus, Lord in heaven, please don't make me eat pizza again. I'm praying to the Almighty Lord, please don't make me eat pizza again. Please do not make me eat Domino's again. So then the angels say, <laughs> fine, shut up. And God himself hands him a message in a bottle that reads, don't get too excited, there's nothing actually useful in this message, but have you heard of a man named Jesus? Immediately, we forget the plight of the starving fish man and end up in Jesus' crib. And guess what? He won't stop bitching either. I don't like my house. I can't sleep. My neck hurts. I have OCD. Just get to the point already. Look, the here's fuck? Mary doing something weird with her arm legs. Let's give her a <laughs> Her arm legs. Good boy. Surprise! <laughs> For God's sake, Jesus! Annoying Jesus is annoying. Where, where, where's the writer's Nobel Prize? Secrets of Jesus is boring. There is so much talking in this damn thing. I know point and click games tend to be a bit talky, but no joke, this is mostly dialogue. Absolutely insipid dialogue that doesn't mean anything, explain anything, contribute this to the plot. New it's Jesus like OCD someone else's lore, text yeah. messages from the year 30 AD. Well, at the very least, Jesus does give us a bit of the look. He goes around the town being so high and mighty, it makes me sick. He finds an old man, demands his name, and then when he asks for Jesus' name in return, he replies, Don't worry, simpleton, you can't pronounce it anyway. He disturbs the home of a naked woman, demands that she come outside because he's going to heal people. She says no thanks because I'm, you know, naked. And he says back to her that if she comes out right now, he'll use his powers to enlarge some of her. Even candles, candles are beneath this man. Who does he think he is? The son of God? I'm the light. <laughs> Candles are useless compared to me. Okay, then, Mr. This Big Shot, so if you're so stupid. bright and wonderful, you can be my hallway lamp. Oh no, what's this now? Jesus Christ himself refuses to carry on walking forward on this path because there are two rabbits in the way. What kind of messiah are you? Clicking around, clicking around, clicking around. I have no idea what I'm doing. Can't go this way, can't go that way, can't pick this up, can't pick that up. Ruin this person's day, ruin that person's day. Shall I jump? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to know what the name of the next game is? Yeah, this is fucked. This is, <laughs> that was Jesus a fucked game. Jesus in space. Of course. Jesus in space. Of course. Space. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this will look perfect on my desktop next to Manhunt 2. Star date <laughs> 9, 10, 18. Yeah, those Somewhere two go in together. The alpha Gamer system. Christians aboard the Starship Tarsus are on a mission to- Oh man, let me guess. A mission to save an entire planet's ecosystem? A mission to end a centuries-long war? A mission to rescue a captured galactic diplomat? A mission to... share the gospel. <laughs> Hyperdrive. Check. Bibles? Check. Sorry, dude. Bibles aren't going to save you from your own hair growing out of your eyes. This is Stu Dent, and he's a lovable little Christian boy whose sole mission is to explore other planets and share- Oh, I get it! And share the good word of Jesus with aliens. Sadly, you never get to see Jesus in space in- Jesus in space. But it's okay. Instead, you get to see Humpty Dumpty. Oh, and they also have this robot dressed as a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> Wow, Shelba, is that a new hair hologram you're wearing? Nice. I would take you out back, but luckily for you, thou shalt not cover thy robot ass. By the way, <laughs> look at this picture. I've never seen thou a game screenshot where absolutely nothing <laughs> looks like it belongs together, and I love it. All of a sudden, we get an extreme close-up of sunburned Buzz Lightyear, and then we're attacked by asteroids. Yeah, you oh, go. They're no. literally just oh, telling don't on worry. themselves. If you don't want to do it, they're telling you can skip on themselves every when they do shit. Like if you want, with this little menu up here, you can't lock out the gospel of Jesus behind a difficulty wall. I do recommend that you do that anyway though, because otherwise you'll be stuck listening to these noises whenever you do anything right. Nice shot, Stu. Nice shot, Stu. Nice shot, Stu. Nice shot, Stu. Oh, and one more thing. Shut up! Okay, right. So here <laughs> are three missions we need to do, and Stu Dent is very excited about them. Jeez, Gromit! And to be honest, I'm very curious how they're going to tell the <coughs> baptism of Jesus Christ in space. Well, this is how. By explaining it with a fish priest. But little do they know, at my primary school, this is what all my vicars looked like. Just like with that fluffy game from earlier, we need to fill in blank parts of a sentence with our own words. But woefully, we only get to swap between a small number of sensible suggestions, making this whole thing not fun at all. Brushing ties. Well, to be fair, the way the robot says reef does make it all worth it. Reef, 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 reef. 
<laughs> then we need to decorate an underwater scene to show off what we learned about the baptism of Jesus. Oh my god, there's a shipwreck! All the cargo everywhere! So many innocent lives are dead! What caused this? There's also a three-eyed crab up there in immense pain. <laughs> Let's have a look at one last not? mission before we move on, though. The Last Supper and... Foot washing? I didn't know Jesus was into that. And who is going to teach <laughs> us about the time that Jesus opened a spa? Well, this guy's going to teach us. Jesus Chief Macamac with game. his... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. He's no. gonna be offensive, isn't he? You would tell Chief Wackamack he's good. Stop. Okie dokie. Yep, he is. Squishy Jesus. Now this mini game, oh, this mini game Jesus. is toss. What they want you to do is say if the robot I here is right even. or wrong when he tries to remember a Bible verse that he acts out. If you know it, you carry on. If Stop. you don't, you electrocute a child. Yeah, that's just how I remember my church. Get it right or you die. In fact, this kid is so Accurate. desperate to meet his maker, he even made this device, named it after himself, and positioned it directly above him. You know, yep. just in case he gets an answer wrong. Oh no, silly me. What a mistake I made. You better shock me then. I'm a sinner that needs to be punished, sir. He clearly enjoys it. And who am I to tell him he's wrong? <laughs> but just like his this? crotch, I'm they disappointed and concerned. Phoenix. So the they lesson we learned it. today is that John the Baptist was a mutant Kill on themselves. Everyone in the Call of Cthulhu was right. I'm not sure I can take much more of this shit, so I've only got enough energy left for one more game. What are we ending this pilgrimage oh, on? Oh no, what? Jesus in the Matrix. <laughs> Game begins with. <laughs> huh. And then. He knocks on the door of your heart. What will be your answer to that now? Uh... Where am I? What am I doing? Who are you? Why are there Christian Facebook minion memes? I think Jesus is pretty G sus. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this confused <laughs> jumping into no. anything in my life. What am I supposed to make of any of this? The red pill? The red pill? Are you telling me I need to take the red Is pill Jesus to believe in Jesus and earn everlasting life in heaven? I thought it was just so you could vote for Trump! You there! Yes, frightening woman? Why are you hiding from the Lord? Excellent question, and I don't know, but maybe it's because he's scaring me with billboards trying to get me to buy his merch from OwMyHandsHurt.com <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Actually, do you know what these things are? They are not subliminal billboard ads. They're cards, and they're a core part of the game. Cards, according to the website, penetrate into the lives of men and crushes the fetters of the lies, brackets, of the matrix, asterisk, 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 so that anyone who has understood and accepted Jesus' sacrifice can freely see and breathe. What's that? That didn't make any damn sense to you whatsoever? Good, because the whole game doesn't either. But then again, why am I trying to find sense in this when the website also says the target of this game is that it creates a community where everyone can express their opinions, beliefs, or conclusions, but then also says five seconds later that the most important event in the universe was the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, so your opinion is wrong. Now, I know you're all dying to know, how do you play Jesus in the Matrix? Jesus in the mess. And after a very long time of me just running around in circles, wondering if this was my punishment after I died in real life, I ended up figuring out that all of these floating red pills here are opposite to these blank cards. And to beat the game, you need to fill all of them in with the correct words of each part of certain Bible scripture to make the card light up. And according to this lady that I found in a this feels like it'd be a sad time, but sadly, this is probably sincere. Yeah. The more people yeah. This is just matrix. you heard that right. If you don't believe this is, in the Almighty, yeah, it's sad and you funny. are living in the Matrix, and the only way to get out of the Matrix is to click on the correct word. Or you can say, sod all of that and follow these people running off towards damnation. And just look at how excited they are. They're the only people in this whole game actively running. They are so hyped for hell that they are sprinting to it. <laughs> Kick ass, I want to go and see. Oh, well... Hell looks a lot like the place I just came from. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will have dinner together. This is terrifying. Is this game a joke? Is it taking the piss? I actually can't tell. If this is all supposed to convince me not to go to hell, it isn't working. So off I go. Whee! Oh Christ! Oh my fucking Holy Jesus, shit! Mother and fucking Mary and God's fucking <laughs> Get me out of here right fucking now! Hell! 
and I've trapped myself in the game forever. Yep, I'm stuck. I can't kill myself. I can't respawn. I'm just stuck. But hey, I did kill Satan because I found his one single weakness. Draw distance. My favorite thing about this whole situation, though, is that absolutely nothing in this game can kill me. Not warfare. Not heights. Not lava. Not even the devil himself. But getting a Bible verse incorrect does kill me. Bible for you, see you next accurate. week! And That's I know very what accurate. you're all thinking. Where is Jesus in the Matrix? <laughs> of course! Yep, there he is! Hi, Jesus! He died for our sins, Hi, and now Jesus. he's stuck in the Matrix with doing? Agent Smith. And if you ever <laughs> have any doubt in your mind if Jesus ever existed, well, Jesus is so real that you can walk right through him. Hey guys, do you like my new haircut? It's really <laughs> smelly. And now, I'm sure that you've all heard of the Trojan Horse, but have you all heard of the Trojan Crucifix? <laughs> if you're interested, Jesus Christ is still on display in the Matrix at the London Zoo for a limited time only, so don't delay, get your tickets today. London Zoo, we have animals and a dead hairy man. Yeah, I think I'm just about done <laughs> Nice. Here. What a trip that was. And there he we go. Died for I hope you enjoyed this video sins. from me this holiday season. And whatever you celebrate this time of year, I hope you enjoy it. It's been a miserable couple of years for everybody, so don't take your loved ones for granted. Have as much fun with them as you possibly can. And don't forget, if you do celebrate Christmas, please make sure that you are the best, good, and loving Christians you can be. You know, just like Goofy, when he found out about his son's preferences and was abundantly supportive and accepting towards him. Maxie, we don't want any queers in this house! Actually, don't be like Goofy. Goofy's a twat. And you know who I am? I am Jesus Christ. This is an actual real game on Steam that hasn't been released yet. But my boy, I am so glad that the world of Jesus games isn't going away anytime soon. Let's check it out. An angel of the Lord appeared and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home. Too many to Jesus here. Too many. Because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. This game is gonna kill me! <laughs> Hello, my son. Oh, Jesus, it's the real Jesus. You've been a very naughty boy, haven't you? <laughs> You've oh, come been on, a very it was just a joke. Naughty, oh, naughty uh -huh, boy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do you know what my favorite joke is? I don't care. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're going to hell. Bye. Wait, no. Stop it. No, no, please don't do that. Please get your stupid Heard of Joshua of the Promised Land? No. What have you been eating? You've been having, having casserole. What is that? I don't want to go. I don't want to go yet. Yes, Queen. Yes. Yes. Well, at least my body's on Amazon Prime! <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and Twitter because it's 8am in the morning as I record this and I just got the video done and I think I'm gonna cry if you don't follow me. Please follow me! Special thank you to my executive producers on my oh, Patreon page in the description below. And as Amdell, Basil, Blake Brown, can you say Rod Grod Med Float? Oh, what? Savior of Life, Cards the Maid, boy. Chris Rainbird, Colin McLean, Dan and Alex, Dave Marshall, Dredge and Bungo, and Mr. Turbo Man, Evelyn Merrill, Exopaz, Giant Fire and Cole, Harper Onions, Inflim, Iron Ninja, Lucifer1307, Mitchell Reed, MR Rushton, Peter Spedding, Ramon Wolf 1885, Raven Tora, Renoid Critic, Rosie Stewart, Skullman, Slowpog, Starman, Stephanie Arena, Tardis Type 40, The Game Shed, The Real Kit Nathaniels, Demonetized Word McGee, sorry, can't say it, Try Tesla, Whirlwind Abyss, and Will Be Fat. Stan? Bye bye. Caddy, please word your tweets better, you nearly gave me a heart attack! Noise, noise. Yeah, I I've really fucking enjoyed that. You go. I'm gonna check out more of his videos later. Like, ah, oh, seems like someone I'd I'd subscribe to. Yeah, I I'm surprised I've never seen their channel before, like any of their videos, because this seems like up my alley. That was definitely a holy. Jesus Christ adventure. 